Um, so now, ladies and gentlemen, what we worked on, we worked on transferring between one form to the other. But it got pretty basic, right? It's just, hey, put the numbers in where this other one goes, and that's kind of it. Now let's kind of take a look at why that works when we transform Sarah from one form to the next, all right? So ladies and gentlemen, if I say log base 16 of 4, and I say find, tell me what that, what that equals. So I want you to tell me what that equals, all right? Now, um, we're going to learn how to go and plug this into your calculator a little bit later. But without a calculator, if you're looking at this and I say evaluate for log 16 base 4, to understand what the answer is, you first have to understand what is that problem even asking, right? Because the log, what exactly does the log ask you to do? So what's helpful about being able to write this in exponential form is we get a little bit of understanding, right? We know what, x, we know what uh, an exponent means. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which equals 4, right? So we understand exponents, but the logarithms are still a little bit kind of new to us. So if I have log base 16 of 4, log base 16 of 4, we don't know what it equals right now, right? So let's put y there, or x, or z, whatever variable you want to use. All right. Now let's go ahead and rewrite this in exponential form, because we practice doing that, right? So if I was going to write this in exponential form, we have the same base raised to the um, Right, OK. I thought I wrote the problem down. So we have 16 raised to a power <coughs> equals 4. First of all, is 16 larger or smaller than 4? It's larger, right? So can the exponent be larger than 1? No, no so it's going to have to be a fraction, right? Right? So if we think about that, I need to raise 16 to a power that's going to now give me 4. So what could my values of y have to be? So we know that it can't be, it can't be larger than 1 because 16 the first power equals 16, right? So it has to be a number that's smaller than 1. Can we solve it like the other one? We're going to work through it. So what would you say? 16 to be what? All right, well, let's try 1 half. 16 to the 1 half, remember, 16 to the 1 half equals is the same thing as the square root of 16, right? Isn't we, don't you guys remember practicing that? So is the square root of 16 or 16 raised to the 1 half, is that equal to 4? Yes. yes. So therefore, we can say that y, or the value of this, is equal to 1 half. That's it. So 16 base 16 of 4 equals 1 half. So again, when I ask you what a logarithm is, ladies and gentlemen, what you're pretty much evaluating for is 16 raised to what power gives you 4. I'll say it one more time because it's very, 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 very important for you guys to understand this language. 16 raised to what power gives you 4? Well, we know that answer is going to be 1 half, right? Okay. So that's a little bit more understanding of a logarithm. Yes? Yes? 